First and foremost, I think we should be clear about the fact that most of the harm that's caused by violent policing has less to do with numbers of people killed, but rather the daily mundane harassment, targeting, injury, violence that young people of color face in their communities on a daily basis. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them on a daily basis who aren't getting killed, but are suffering from the violence of policing. And if we start looking at their experiences in their lives, then it forces us to ask different kinds of questions. It asks a question about how do we reduce police contact, period, with people? How do we erode police power? That should be at the bottom of the way in which we think about how we devote and create policies that are going to be able to make things better for the people on a regular basis. Because we know that a way to end violence is to have less police around to do violence towards people in their communities. Many, many communities are over-policed. And that is leading to a lot more violence in general. The third question is, how do we repair the harm of the violence of policing? How do we do that in a way that is not about just individuals? but about the entire community getting some sort of reparation for what is being happening in our communities for decades and generations.